Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Sorry about the crazy light. It's about 4.30. I came home early today. I wasn't feeling well, took a long nap and I thought I would get this done before I go back to bed, I suppose. <laughs> I just feel like, ooh, sorry, I just kicked my tripod. A little headachey upset stomach it's life we'll be fine all right i got a decent sized haul here and i think what i was meaning to say is before i get all this put away because i have some crafting to do there's alex hi alex you say hi you say hi to the people hi friends yeah he said no <laughs> all right so we'll get started i got some more of these plastic easter eggs um this is a 10 count and these are 1.69 inches. These are gonna go in, I have a lantern and I needed some more eggs to fill the lantern. So I think that's gonna be it for like Easter purchases as far as I know. I'll do more spring DIYs, but eggs and stuff I don't think I need anymore. I found this awesome kit. It's called the All-in-One and it's 100 pieces. Um, I thought this would be fun, like office supplies. We'll see what's in it. We got bubs. Okay. So we have a staple remover. We have a roll of tape. No tape dispenser, though. That's bizarre, but okay. Staple remover, which I'm taking to work because I need that. A pair of scissors. Um, I don't know the quality of these scissors. We can try to cut something. It cuts. They'll be good crafting scissors, I'm assuming. You know, when you're cutting things that you shouldn't be cutting with scissors. So I have some scissors. Alex, buddy, look out. Um, it also comes with, which I love, black paper clips. Black push pins and a um, X-Acto knife in black, like a razor cutting knife, and a letter opener. It doesn't have, it's not the best letter opener, but it'll work. So that was pretty fun for a dollar. What the heck? I needed the staple remover. I don't have one at work. And um, I love the black paper clips and push pins. So for that, oh, and the Exacto. So for me, that's worth the dollar. All right, we'll put that away. Take it up to my office. I bought more of this sea, uh, Himalayan pink sea salt. I grabbed three more. So I have a total of five of these. Oh, sorry about the shadowing here. Is that better? There we go. I have five of these now. Um, it's great. I use it all the time, and that needs to get put away. And I grabbed two more bath bombs. So now I think I have all the flavors of the new Bolero. So I got the Peony and Pear, and I got the Coconut Verbena. So now I have four of these, and one might get used tonight, because you know, it's bath. I need a bath tonight, I think. All right, and these are over a couple trips. I got some more coffee to taste test. We're gonna have quite the lineup. So this is the Dollar Tree brand, and this is Greenbrier, and this is Hazelnut. So if I'm remembering correctly, I will have two Hazelnut, different brands, to try. Um, I grabbed some grape, because I like grape. Um, oh, I did pick up some more Tetley tea. Two more. I made this the other night. It's delicious. Um, it really makes a nice iced tea. I got to find the Best Buy date because I think it's this summer, which is fine with me. Best Buy April. Oh, no. This one's April of 2020. April of 2020. So I got plenty of time to use these, and this is really good. Um, oh, here's the other coffee I got. So this is the breakfast blend. So we have one breakfast blend so far, a hazelnut, 
this hazelnut and this brand. So we have two. We'll probably do like hazelnut taste test, you know, head to head to see what we think. I don't want to brew six bags of coffee. So we have the two hazelnuts. One is Premier brand. This is not a Greenbrier. This is MW Polar Foods Inc. And this is a dark roast. This is a dark roast. This is a light roast. They're both hazelnuts. So we'll see. And then I got French Vanilla in the Dollar Tree brand as well. And the breakfast blend so far. Oh, this is open. I grabbed some shower gel in the Watermelon Mint. I've never tried the Bolero shower gel and I thought I would give it a go. I've heard that it doesn't um, soap up super well, but we'll see. Or suds up, lather, I guess is the word we're looking for here. <laughs> super good, but we'll see. I mean, I'll try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What is the worst thing that could happen? Um, oh, I've had this out. And this I grab. These are actually washcloths, which I would never use as a washcloth. They're microfiber, but they're great for crafting cleanup. So I bought a four pack of those. So I've been doing a lot of crafting, if you hadn't noticed. Okay, and then I went today and I grabbed some mushrooms for my, I'm going to make a keto pizza for dinner with Alfredo sauce and mozzarella, pepperoni, and mushrooms, so white pizza. So I got some mushrooms. For the boys, uh, my coworkers' grandchildren, I grabbed these Jurassic World dinosaur eggs. Uh, this weekend coming up, we're going to go to Jurassic Quest down in Cincinnati, I believe. And this just has some gummy fruit in it. And I thought they would enjoy those. So I grabbed two. For the hotel room, I grabbed a hairbrush um, for my gym bag. So I could just leave it in my gym bag. Let's see if it works. Well, yes, it does. It's fine. When you have short hair, you don't need anything fancy. I just need something for when I shower at the gym. So I can leave that in my gym bag. And I needed that. Um, some Band-Aids from all the crafting and cleaning. Both of my fingers are split. That one right here and this one here. I don't know if you can see it. My boo-boos. So it's from Dry Skin. What I do is put Vaseline or Aquaphor or Neosporin if they're look sore and wrap them in band-aids and sleep with it here's the other coffee i got and this is the premier brand again and this is their vanilla so i have two vanilla as well isn't that awesome so i have vanilla vanilla but we have right now to try five different flavors of coffee so what i'll probably do is one one morning now that i have them all I would like to see if I can find the premiere on like a breakfast blend. I just haven't seen it, but I'll keep looking. When I'm ready, what I'll do is brew a cup of each, sweeten them with the exact same and uh, on video for you, and we'll taste test vanilla. And then the next morning, you know, so this will be a little ways down because I don't want to waste the coffee and I don't want to open them and then not drink the rest. So. I'll figure it out, but that the gist there is it's a it's going to take a little bit of time, but we are going to have a head-to-head -head comparison on all the flavors of Dollar Tree coffee that I can find that you brew, not the instant. I don't like instant, so none of those would work for me. <laughs> um, I'm starting, so I'm going to Florida in July with my cousins. I'm either camping or staying in the, a condo or hotel. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, and it, no matter where I go or stay, I have to bring my keto-friendly foods with me. So I'm stocking up, and I grabbed two of these um, smoked peanuts from Planters. These are great snacks for me to have. Um, these are good until January of 2020, or J yeah, January. So they're fine. I will start a tote bag of... Um, snacks and foods and things that I can take with me so I'm not you know while it's on my mind like this kind of stuff I'll put some drink mixes in there probably some bottled water I have my Gatorade things like that so no matter where I'm sleeping I need to have food that's readily accessible for me because where we're staying is in essence on an island I mean there are grocery stores and stuff to get to but it's just better for me and for my you know a little bit OCD maybe to bring 
things that I can have readily available besides like proteins and stuff which will grill at their condo or go out to eat so it's not a problem I'm not gonna starve to death but it makes me more comfortable to know that I have things available plus it's a 14 hour drive all right um I picked up two fern things I'm gonna cut them apart and by cut them apart I mean pull them apart and use them on a wreath for summertime in my kitchen which I'll show you I did stop at Hobby Lobby as well I grabbed the tablecloth um, I couldn't find a tarp and I'm gonna be painting soon it's down here some shelf um, crates so I thought I would just put this on my plastic table and that'll protect the table um, if I find a tarp in the interim I will have a use for this it's not a problem so I got a pink tablecloth and the last thing I bought at the Dollar Tree was a trash can. I love this navy blue color. I needed a new trash can in my downstairs bathroom, which is done in like ocean nautical. And the trash can was gross. So I just bought a blue one. I have a navy blue and white striped shower curtain in there. And I have um, all kinds of like ocean stuff. So I have all that. And I do, I'll show you real quick. I stopped at, is that everything? That's everything. I stopped at Hobby Lobby on my way to pick up a couple things to go with this wreath. I needed greenery. I didn't really find all the greenery I'm looking for, but I got this for now, Dollar Tree. But I picked up a bag of lemons. Now they do sell lemons at the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree lemons are $1 a piece and they're only in one size. This whole bag was $4.99 and there's 16 lemons in here. And I also used a 40% off coupon. So I got a much more cost effective at Hobby Lobby. Some of them are going to go on the wreath and then the rest, I thought they smelled like lemons. They don't. The rest can go in a vase or some, some type of filler. My kitchen is done in buffalo check and lemon for the summer. So I have that. I picked this up and I know gasp I paid full price for it but look at this succulent it was $2.99 um, in my Target haul I bought two little mini vape like um, pots that hang and I want to put this in one of them so it, it's gonna hang in my kitchen window I don't want real plants in those um, hangers I have one from last summer that I put a real plant in and every time I watered it the rope got wet and the rope broke so Plus, I don't want real succulents in that window. I don't want to have to get up there and deal with them. So I'm getting fake ones. And I wanted something that, like, I'm going to stick this in the center and this overflow. So this will go in one of the two pots. And this was $2.99. And it just says floral accents. It doesn't really tell me what this is supposed to be. And I'm sure there's a name for this succulent. I just don't know what it is. So I have that. And then for my... Um, all my utensils on my counter I have a little crock that was my grandma's and I love it but it's tiny and then I have this big thing that just doesn't kind of cohesive with my house it's like a basket I think I got it at Ikea years ago so I picked up this and I'm just going to sit it in the corner and put all of my cooking utensils in it and then whatever doesn't fit I don't need I have a lot of cooking utensils um, and this was $9.99, so I got it for $5.99 because it was 40% off. And I think this is perfect. I'll put this side forward unless I decide to put something on it, which I don't think I'm going to. So I'll leave that hang down and it's just a bucket. Very rustic. I was looking for either that, oh, the sun is bright today, or a big white crock, and I couldn't find the big white crock, so that'll do. So that is, hmm everything for today um i do have a diy coming up none of the stuff i bought in here will be in my diy but it'll be fun and it's something that i purchased last year the tray that i'm going to paint i'm going to do enamel painting on it the tray was from last summer but i'm sure they'll have them out again this summer and then the i have two items one i've already finished and i'll show you that is currently from the dollar tree and the other one was from last summer but like i said um They'll come back out. It's just a summer serving tray. Platter, cheap. So I wanted to show you that DIY, which I'll do here later. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Have a good one.
Bye. Look at shadows. <gasps> nanu, nanu. There's a dog. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, here. There. How do you do the dog? Woof. Why don't you just go woof, woof? <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye.